Hello, Luca. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so um, you are the, the CEO of Eurome, um, based in Milan. So where it all started, <laughs> or it secondly started. <laughs> so you are uh, in advance uh, as opposed to us so regarding the impact and how you... you After had China. <laughs> After China, yes. <laughs> Uh, but yes, your Italy is hardly hit. Uh, it's terrible what, what is happening uh, out there. Uh, we we cross fingers that we won't be as as um, striking uh, as, as much as you you are currently. But uh, likely, it's likely that we will have the same. Uh, we'll go through the same episode. Um, some countries are going better than some others, but uh, overall this global epidemic is, is terrible. And uh, we all are, are asking question, ourselves questions about uh, how can we as corking operators handle this crisis and also consider the next, uh, the next step. But first of all, I, I wanted to ask you maybe to just to remind us um, what, what, what is your room and your activities and, uh, in Milan and, uh, uh, and maybe tell us how you what or were the first days of the crisis from your your um, from how you you saw it and experienced it? Your room is a co-working space based in Milan. We opened four years ago, and uh, the crisis hit us like all. I mean, all the Italian economy because now there is a shutdown about almost every industry, services, bar, restaurant. Yeah. Since uh, I mean, the situation has been complicated because Italy has been the first country hit by the coronavirus, and uh, the first cases have been reported at the middle of February. Yeah, so it's more than one month that we handle with that situation. Uh, Lombardia is the region of Italy, uh, the capital Lombardia is Milan. It's a province, but there are some provinces of Lombardia that has been hit more than other parts of Italy, like uh, Bergamo, Brescia, Cremona, Mimbre. And the fear cases are reported in Lombardia uh, in the middle of February. So mm -hmm. the, the, the region started to introduce measure uh, at the, I remember it was 23 of February, something like that. Uh, because they started to ban meeting and gathering of people. So, I mean, the first measure that uh, we, just like working, we have, uh, I mean, some problem, no? Because uh, part of our business is related to business. Yeah. Uh, to host a meeting, to events of uh, university and corporate. And uh, gradually, the Italian government and regional Lombardia both introduced uh, more measure, uh, introducing red zone in part of the country and in regional Lombardia as well. And as from 12th of March, the institution decided to close all the public activity in the whole country, like restaurant, cinema, theater, gym, no? Yeah. Keep one meter of distance among people, force smart working, and at the end, force it to stay at home. <laughs> so yeah. It's the end of, uh, of this process. And as from two days ago, all work activity, including industry, are closed, banned in the country, except yeah. when necessary, I mean, for food, health care, no? Yeah. So uh, the situation is quite complicated. Uh, the last four days was a little better, but yesterday was uh, bad news <laughs> because yeah. the new cases increasing more than the previous day. After some day where we're a little better, mm. so the, the country is closed and the co-working is just part of the, of the yeah, situation. Yeah. At the beginning, we could understand, no, what was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so, so from from so you have four locations, is it? Um, no, no, we have one location. One location. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, Thousand meter. Yeah. And we have like one hundred fifty customer daily. And we have we work a lot with forever because we, we have two event spaces and meeting room as well. Okay, and uh, and how, how do you did you from as as a co-working space you you had to 
close everything from uh, in, in yeah, the beginning of the month, or, or did you the... no? Yeah. Now they're being really closed. Yeah. At, but at the beginning, they started to ban meetings and events. So there is part of a business go away. Yeah. We we start to invoice anymore. Yeah. And uh, we have like thirty percent revenue coming from events. Yeah. So it's quite big. Yeah. Uh, the the customer it's it's difficult. To, what's really difficult to handle with a customer as well because we have some even already booked and you know it's quite difficult like to to handle because the situation was new and uh, yeah. Uh, but in the following week the, the situation got more clear and people start to understand the seriousness of our situation. So we decided among our customers to foster smart working, no? Uh, reducing the reception services. Yeah. In the last for 10 days, just we block a reception that people can get in, go out, but not anymore reception. Mm -hmm. Because we have a problem with our employee as well. So yeah, we, sure. there is a situation for yeah. customer and for company because we have like five employees. Yes. And uh, we limit the package delivery as well because it's a problem. No? They can introduce virus. So, yeah, yeah, no, sure. And on 3rd of March, uh, we decided to close the space. Uh, we host a meeting among other co working in Italy, mm -hmm. like we work uh, spaces, Impact Hub, Base, where we hold four years ago, five years ago, the European co working company. Yes, yes. We got a meeting, but it was, it was already at the beginning, no? So was difficult to understand the situation. Yeah. I know that some co-working are closed. Uh, some are open. I know it depends on the space or some that had to shut down because because employee didn't want to go to work. So yeah. there is this situation as well, no? So Yeah. It depends also if you have a uh, smart access or something like that, I guess that the people yeah. can get yeah, in. Yeah, we have smart access, but there is employee problems uh, and cleanliness, uh, yes. reception. So it's not just a key, a smart key. Yeah. We have smart key as well, so people yeah. can get in. But if the, some customer gets ill, what's happened? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. A, the situation is more difficult, no? And uh, at the end, I decided uh, to close. We close yeah. on 3rd of, uh, 13th of March. And uh, I think it was better. It has been a good decision because uh, yeah, or uh, we started as well to not invoice anymore. Yeah, because there is a problem about the contract. Yeah. So for April, we decided not to issue new invoices, and for March to refund the customer for half of the month, because usually we invoice at the beginning of the month, no? Yeah. For March, we invoice at the first day of March. I see. And. Uh, and, did, and uh, yeah, sorry. Did you see some some uh, regarding your tenants? Do you see them now canceling canceling their subscription, or no. you, or it's still there's some level of solidarity, or they understand? And uh... no, we handle with them from the beginning uh, a situation. We'll see what's happened, and we communicated what what we try to do, yeah. want to do according to the situation. Because the main problem with that was nobody was going to be co-working. If you go with Opel, at the, before shut down the space, we had like four or five customers. Usually yeah. they come 150 daily yeah. because the government measure has been introduced in order to force people to stay at home. Yeah. So. <laughs> of course, yes. So it, 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 it's very difficult. So we advised them uh, that we are, mm, have, in mind to introduce, uh, try to handle the situation, to block the contract. Uh, I yeah. sent a mail one week ago this, uh, that uh, with these measures and not invoice anymore and refund all from the past month. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get so it. the customer, I think they understand. Uh, and we got good, uh, Many email us, uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. We just charge 10% for private office for utility. 
Well, yeah, only yeah. Just simple. to cover the, 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 the cost of, uh, yeah. of the energy, electricity, and that you, yeah. you mean plot. Yeah. Uh, the theme of this is to, when we open again, uh, to have a space not empty. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so so your 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 strategies indeed, or your your the way you approach it is indeed yes. Rather than take the hit right now financially, just to keep the community together uh, for the aftermath once we we will be ready to reopen. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, this is the aim, and okay, we have our customers. Some of our customers are like friends because we opened this yeah. four years ago, and many are the same. So yeah. Yeah, they, they also experience, of course, the, the same situation and they have no revenue anymore for the moment, I guess. And that's so that there is a cascade or a yeah. waterfall of, 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 of consequences that we all have to handle with. Yeah, and many of our customers, they don't invoice anymore as well because yeah. the country is blocked. Yes, 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 yes. So do do are you already... So what about the online activities you might have you still are connecting and facilitating stuff or it's just mm -hmm. all frozen now uh it makes no sense to to to, to do too much on that side you from your yes. from what you yeah see. now we i don't manage the social <laughs> for my age <laughs> but no, the, there are the community managers and message and post on facebook uh, uh, communication with Slack among customer, and we try to keep the community, but not too much. Uh, yeah, because we have our physical spaces, and uh, yeah, it's hard. Yes, we prefer to come back uh, and yeah. to speak to each other. There are many that organize uh, uh, courses online, but yeah, do you want to come back to to the space and? Uh, to, to have opportunities to, to interact with each other in a physical spaces. Uh, do, do you discuss with your your the other co-working space in both in Milan and others? You said that you had a meeting with, with some of the yeah, players? Yeah, but at the beginning. That's it. I speak a lot with Aurelio, it's a friend of mine in Turin, you Aurelio, know. Yes, yes. What's difficult the situation because we was the first country in Europe. Uh, and we didn't know how to handle yeah. the situation. Milan even worse because it's one month that we have measure yeah. even more uh, restricted. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. So this impacted a lot of the business. Yeah. And uh, and at the beginning I didn't know how to handle the situation because it was something new. Yeah. 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 Some coworkers decided to close. Some I think now all are closed because. Yeah. You, you can be open if you uh, work in a strategic sector, you know. If yeah. not, all the activities are closed. So That's it, that's it. Um, are, are you thinking about the next step already? Or, yeah, or do you see a next step? What, what about, um, uh, have you already thought about... Um, I know some action that you you plan for the next thing because hope comes also yeah. with the fact that so many people are now experiencing experiencing remote working that it could be a, a card to play for co-working operators. Do do you see that a little bit or it's too optimistic? No. no, I don't think so. Okay, why so? Well, because we are a physical space and smart yeah. working could be helpful, but. People should not work at home. Should go in a working space. <laughs> yeah, but the, the idea is that, that not we are close. <laughs> the, the idea would be that uh, companies would allow their employees to go more because we saw so the limits no. of home working. We are we are no we are working now with our IT staff to uh, improve virtual meeting room. Yeah, in our spaces. Yeah. To get with uh, with I know expert about that, but uh, I have a meeting tomorrow or Monday uh, in order to set up meeting room and even space uh, with opportunity to uh, to have uh, online meeting uh, with a good system and technology. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to do that, of course. Uh, 
Okay. Because the event will be less. The, the world after that will be not like before, I think, for, for yeah. a long period. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and now I am, uh, the main problem is that to handle a situation like this from a financial point of view is really difficult. Yeah. Because I am working a lot now in order to get liquidity of a company to maintain a positive cash flow. It's difficult, but uh, the government helped it quite a lot in Italy. Do you already know the measures? Is it concrete yeah, already? Yeah, or? they approved a full package of measures last week. Okay. Uh, and what does it mean for you, for instance, or for your tenants? That means that uh, uh, if you have a mortgage, we have a mortgage, for instance, in a yeah. part of the space, other part we rent, so we have yeah. a landlord. Uh, you can postpone uh, the mortgage for six months. This is good for liquidity yeah. because you, without the interest. Uh, you can put your employee, uh, no, the, the employee are going to be paid by the state. Yeah. Like this economic is immediately. Yeah. It's immediately. You, have, you have to finish the holiday thing. No, maybe not. We are, they are still deciding, but yeah. the next salary will be paid by the state. And moreover, mm, there is something more. No, and uh, I asked the uh, credit line by at the bank they yeah. give me. Yeah. Because it is, it's an idea. It's, it's not compulsory, but the bank give me a... So I uh, have some amounts of uh, breath. Yeah, you have some cash, cash uh, you know, perspective. Uh, your cash position will remain okay for, for a while as oh. far as it doesn't last too long, yeah. Five, six months. The main problem is the rent because yeah. We have the space divided in two parts. One is uh, has been bought yeah. last year, and the other one is the old one is we rented. Yeah, and the rent is uh, is difficult because the rent is a private agreement. So the government is difficult to handle. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that this is a big problem of we work and spaces. Because they usually they run to a broker, yeah. And the broker, the broker or real estate uh, big, uh, big property companies, yeah. Yeah, property company, and these property companies sometimes they don't, yeah, they don't hear. Yes, yes, and yeah, but they might need to be flexible because at the end of the day, that's their customer base also that is going to vanish if they are not so. They are not flexible uh, and, and giving some understanding. Uh, we assume yeah. that this, this is a kind of uh, deal that will pop up some some time because everybody is in the same boat at the end of the day. Yeah. Hopefully, cr finger crossed and hope that all landlords will behave that way. But that's that's sure that uh, I see. I see. Um, so what what about the next step? You you as I, as I said we you. Are you already figuring out uh, something else than, than the, um, a specific action or, or uh, together action. or yeah? No, just next action is just to, I don't know, at the mom about the space. I am trying now to uh, improve the space uh, with aim that uh, when it will be open. Again, uh, the customer can find something new. Yeah, yeah. You know, something not the private. The situation will be really bad. Uh, yeah. In the, in the next month, so uh, so I am trying to to improve the chronology, to m maybe to introduce new phone boot, uh, uh, some green area new. I mean, yeah. just uh, try to invest something. I know it's not a good moment, but uh, I think that. I have to give an idea of a customer like a new begin. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what okay. I mean. Yes, definitely. I think it is, in this period, it's, it's better to invest if you have a liquidity. I have a, now a credit line, so I have some room. Yeah. 
yeah, that you can improve the design and change and come with a new yes, message. When change some stuff and yeah. even if now I can go to work at the moment. I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope in, that in two, three weeks, maybe, I, I, I don't know, no idea. Maybe in May, that not, now they are speaking June or maybe September. Yeah. It's, it's quite crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hopefully we will be on the same line as they are in China and this they op reopen up slowly. We had the discussion with the guy in China and Korea. They, yeah. they are restarting now, but it's not a full restart. They say that it's, it's, it's uh, going step by step. The people Which are coming back. China? It was in Shanghai and Seoul in, in Korea. And uh, that's, that's what they are saying, that uh, indeed the people are still, although they can come to the space now, they, they are allowed to be back. Uh, a lot of people still stay home out of safety, uh, that for their own safety or because they, they just fear that they could still be con contaminated. But at the end, but they see the people coming back, but also with the protection mask and, and everything. So. Yeah. So we can Here, expect it, something. There are no mask in Italy. It's crazy. Yeah, in Belgium either. I don't know even where 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 I can buy it. <laughs> it's uh, we are using you know the mask we had to to make the the gardening you know with with the ah, yeah, products. Yeah. <laughs> Not things like that, but that's that's of, of, of from a do-it-yourself shop that you when you are painting or things like that. It's not very efficient, but, but no, they are starting. I saw that in Italy, they were also doing that uh, in Fab Labs, the, the shield, the, the face shield uh, in plastic. And that, it seems to be yeah. pretty, pretty effective as well. But we could imagine that we all go back to work in our co-working space with a, with a shield mask and a mask and gloves and everything. And, but at least it, we would be there. At, at my, in in some co-working, the private office are so small. Yeah, that they can maintain the distance. You know, there is I don't ah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. one meter distance among one desk and the other. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, of oh, course. Yeah, I read that is the problem of we work in US now. Yeah, because, because the office is so small. small. <laughs> <laughs> oh poor guy! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's it's the opportunity to re reconsider the business model and the space layout <laughs> for I the next so. pandemic. <laughs> so it's pandemic so. safe <laughs> for the next time. But yes, you see, you have seen maybe in Korea, they also the 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 pupils keep being uh, keep going to school, but they have the screens next to everyone in in, in the classroom. Korea, in the classroom in Korea, yeah. Crazy. yeah. Yeah. Plastic screen. I don't know. Yeah, wood or plastic. I don't know. But th so that they can keep the social distance, they have their mask, and but the class is given. So yeah, yeah, we can yeah. figure out that in our coworking space we will have uh, costumes <laughs> when we will enter. And um, but yeah. be funny at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end, yes, it will be like on Mars, you know, uh, on, on Mars, uh, on the Mars planet, you know, um, just uh, having our suits to go to work and everything but um, at the end if, if it can, uh, allows to to be back and re-socialize a little bit and have the economy working why not yeah we we'll see okay luca um something you want to add uh or no, I a message on... <laughs> no see you in vienna hopefully <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Ah, we are working on that. Uh, hopefully, we are the, we're still in, in the right time frame for, for being bad. But of course, we will devote a lot of time to address the, the, the challenge of the post-COVID uh, time. And uh, Because yes, we see that a lot of companies are getting some support from the government as well in the respective yeah. countries, but it's uneven according to the countries. Uh, and as someone said yesterday as well, the, the market is driven by the occupier. And if the companies and the freelancers and the startups are not going well, uh, that's 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 the challenge. Um, on the other hand, it might be also the opportunity to see the flexible workspace or the the new models, flexible models, to be embraced by more companies. Yeah. So that could mean also that there is, as you said, with the meeting room, with the visual conference, which are um, video conferencing enabled, uh, that could be a new demand that arises uh, uh, and we might be there to 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 address it so yes that's those are the different track where we see maybe some hope or some way to pivot 
our spaces. But uh, yes, those are things we are yeah. going to discuss for, for sure in, in Vienna yeah. in November. Yeah. That would be interesting. Okay, Luca, um, be safe, take care. Um, we are all with you in, uh, in, in Milan, um, learning from you <laughs> because we know we are, <laughs> we are just not so far away from the situation you are you are going through and um yes let's let's cross finger and uh, let us know for anything you need stay at home yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks a lot bye 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 bye